Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I am going to help you with the following question. The question says the sum and sum of squares corresponding to length x in centimeter and weight y in gram of 50 plant products are given below. Submission xi, i going from 1 to 50 is 212 and so on. We have others which is more varying the length or weight. So let us see the solution to this question. Now to tell which is more varying the length or weight we have to find out the coefficient of variation for each one of them. So first of all we calculate for length. Now for length we see that n is equal to 50 because total we have 50 plant products. Submission xi i goes from 1 to 50 is 212. Submission xi square i goes from 1 to 50 is 902.8. Therefore, we say that mean that is x bar is equal to submission xi divided by n that is 212 divided by 50 that is equal to 4.24 centimeter. Now, standard deviation is equal to sigma that is equal to 1 by n into square root of n into submission xi square minus submission xi the whole square. We simply put in the values here and we get 1 by 50 into square root of 50 into 902.8 minus 212 the whole square. On calculating this, we get sigma is equal to square root of 196 divided by 50. Square root of 196 is 14 divided by 50. That is equal to 0 0.28. So standard deviation for length is 0 0.28. Now we see that coefficient of variation for length will be equal to sigma divided by mean multiplied by 100 that is standard deviation divided by mean into 100 that is 0 0.28 divided by mean that is 4.24 into 100 and that comes out to be 6.6. .6. Now we have to find out coefficient of variation for weight. So, for weight, we see that n is equal to 50. Now, submission yi, where i goes from 1 to 15, is equal to, where i goes from 1 to 15, is equal to 261. Submission yi square, where i goes from 1 to 50, is 1457.6. Now these two things they are given to us in the question. For weight we see that mean let this be y bar be equal to submission yi divided by n that is 261 divided by 50 that is equal to 5.22 gram. Now we find out SD that is standard deviation for weight that is sigma that is equal to 1 by n into square root of n into submission yi square minus submission yi the whole square that is equal to 1 by 50 into square root of 50 into 1457.6 minus 261 the whole square. On calculating this we get square root of 4759 divided by 50 and that is approximately equal to 1.38. Therefore, CV that is coefficient of variation will be equal to standard deviation divided by mean into 100. That is 1.38 divided by 5.22 multiplied by 100 and that comes out to be 26.4. Therefore, we see that coefficient of variation of weight is more than that of length that was 6.6 .6.
therefore weight is more varying than length so our answer to this question is weight i hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session have a good day